Dear students, my name is Noshin and I teach economics as assistant professor in the School of Liberal Studies, uh, Pandit Dinayal Petroleum University. In today's session, I am going to speak on the implications of the recent changes in India's monetary policy, um, as announced by Mr. Shakti Kandas, who is the current governor of RBI. It's very important to know that why these changes were announced and introduced in the economy. Uh, primarily, there were two or three reasons. One is to mitigate the effects of uh, uh, COVID-19 and the ongoing slowdown. Second is to revive the economy uh, from slowdown. And third is to uh, uh, to revive the economy and uh, to bring it out of any kind of financial distress. This was particularly important because the recent forecasts about India's GDP growth rate in the year 2020 to 21 have uh, have been reduced by various rating agencies. For example, Fitch ratings have reduced India's forecast to two percent, and uh, uh, ADB has reduced the forecast for India's GDP growth rate in 2020-21 to four percent. This implies that. Uh, uh, various countries, including India, are going to see the effects of slowdown because of the ongoing uh, COVID-19 crisis and the resultant lockdown. Now, it's very important that what were the primary changes introduced in the last week of March by RBI. So, um, primarily, in order to alleviate the financial distress in Indian economy and in the Indian markets, RBI announced that it is going to reduce CRR, that is cash reserve ratio, from 4% to 3%. Uh, reverse repo rate has been reduced by 90 basis points from 4.9% to 4%. And uh, repo rate has been reduced by 75 basis points from 5.15% to 4.4%. Marginal standing facility rate also has been reduced and it currently stands at 4.65%. Together, reverse repo rate and MSF rate form the monetary policy rate corridor and this rate corridor basically implies that this is the range, the range between 4% to 4.65% within which the weighted average call money market rate can, uh, uh, can rotate and can take a value. Now, uh, what are the implications of the reductions in these rates? For that, we need to also understand that what these imply. So, cash reserve ratio is basically uh, the proportion of cash reserves which all commercial banks have to maintain uh, by the reporting Friday with the RBI. If cash reserve ratio declines, it implies that they will have to now keep less reserves as cash with the RBI. So, it releases liquidity in the system. It is expected that uh, as CRR has been reduced from 4 to 3 percent, around 1,37,000 crore of liquidity would be released in the Indian markets. You might be aware that the current SLR statutory liquidity ratio is 18.25%. So if we take CR and SLR together, that is 3% plus 18.25%, it implies 21.25%. So the, only this much cash and liquid assets have to be kept aside by commercial banks with RBI and the rest is available for lending. So, around 78.75% uh, uh, are available for lending. And that implies that uh, there is ample liquidity available for investment purposes and for borrowing purposes from the banking system. Reverse repo rate has been reduced, as I said, from 49 to 4%. And repo rate has been reduced to 4.4%. Now, um, what is repo rate? Repo rate is the rate at which RBI lends to commercial banks. If this rate gets reduced, it means that now it would be more cheaper for the commercial banks to borrow from RBI. That means again there is scope for more liquidity within the commercial banking system. What is reverse repo rate? Reverse repo rate is the rate at which commercial banks lend to RBI. So this is the interest rate which is charged by commercial banks when they give loan to RBI. If this is reducing, it implies that the incentive to lend to RBI would reduce because now commercial banks will get less interest income uh, when they give loans to RBI. So uh, this will uh, basically imply that commercial banks uh, would have incentives 
of uh, using the excess liquidity which they have not for lending to RBI but for investing in other prospective avenues. So this implies that again liquidity would flow from uh, uh, loans to RBI to some other productive sectors. So uh, whenever reverse repo rate is lower than repo rate, it basically implies that uh, it is going to uh, release more liquidity in the banking system and that too mainly for investment and borrowing purposes. Another change which has been introduced recently is uh, provision of three month uh, moratorium. This implies that now borrowers can choose not to pay their installments of loans, of ongoing loans back to the bank for at least three months without facing any legal action or without facing any penalty. So again, this move is expected to uh, to bring more liquidity in the system to allow people to hold more cash, more liquid assets with them. And uh, this will help the economy to revive quickly whenever uh, the country comes out of lockdown. So um, let's hope that uh, uh, our economy actually uh, revives properly and completely from what have been forecast and I sincerely hope that the economy grows at a much faster rate than what has been forecasted. But for that all of us need to work together productively and efficiently. Uh, I'll see you again in the next session. Till then take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you.